Hi there, and today I've got two Lego orders and two collectible minifigures, and I'm making a beehive. So I placed two little orders on Bricklink and spent a few minutes in Tesco's feeling lots of minifigure bags. And hopefully in here I've got two of the new Series 21 beekeepers. Open them up and have a check. Yes, there's one of them. And here's the other one. So we've got two little beekeepers which we'll quickly put together. Give me a little bit of time lapse. <laughs> So there's our two beekeepers, um, and they were in the recent Series 21. If you want to see the complete Series 21 minifigures, I'll put a link to that video down below. But I particularly like this 2x2 two two, uh, tile, which has got the honeycomb on it with two little bees on it, and their little smoke guns. So I was thinking, I like this minifigure so much, I th thought I would make a beehive so they can have something to do in my Lego city. So here are the two little orders from Quicklink. <laughs> And there's all the pieces we need. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just start building and chat you through it. So I've got a 2x4 there and we're going to put two of these angle plates in front of it like that and then I got one of these two by twos but only got two studs on it the other side doesn't have studs I'm gonna put that on there like that and put a brick in the middle to hold it all together and then I'm basically using lots and lots of these one by twos with two studs on the side to work around the center part so one of those on each side like that and then fill in the corner with lots of these one by one bricks with studs on two sides so they're two adjacent sides so those two are plain those two have got studs on so they're going to sit in all the corners like this then that's our first layer done and what we're going to do is using this piece I'm going to pop that on here, which makes like the little entrance for the bees to fly in and out of. And I have got lots and lots of these double cheese wedge slopes, so they are going to go round the outside on all sides. Like this. That front piece will be held together when we get to the next layer. Now I'm going to duplicate this up on two more layers, so a little bit more time lapse for you. So there we have all the sides with studs on every side. And what we're going to do is on the bottom layer, I've got two one by one cheese slopes, so they can go next to, if I just pop that bit out of the way, they can go next to the entrance like that and then what will happen is this bit will finally be held in place with some slopes there and they will join up next door to them like so Making it look easy, aren't I? There we go. And then two more next to them. So that's going to now hold that piece in place and the roof will hold it more firmly. But I'm just going to add the cheese wedges on the sides and then get back to you in a second. <laughs> So there we have it, that's completed on all four sides and we're just going to give it a little bit of a roof using these two 3x4 slopes. So 
So there's our roof. And then for legs, what I've got are these little one by one brackets. And I'm gonna pop a one by one tile on the side to cover up the stud. So I'll do that on all four of these. And then these are just gonna sit on the corners, which just makes them slightly smaller than a one by one brick would have looked like so. So there's our beehive and our two beekeepers. And all we need is now a little bit of a scene. Let me know in the comments below what you think. And if you've liked this, please do give it a thumbs up. And of course, do subscribe for more LEGO videos.